welcome back to Prime Morning. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, hmm, interesting conversations coming your way. Our very next conversation is about dogs. I'm a dog lover. I literally grew up, you know, uh, with a home full of dogs. And I am super elated to be having this conversation because I have with me Gospel and Samuel. And you can see Samuel. <laughs> okay, so first, first of all, uh, let me leave you. Gospel, please introduce yourself. Introduce your dogs to us. Samuel, we do the introduction. Okay. First, Gospel. Go. My name is Gospel. I work with Adam Fupa and I groom dogs as well. You, you groom dogs? Yes, I do. Okay, Samuel? My name is Samuel Tiwonetaba. I'm a dog trainer, and I own my own company. Right. Tiwone Sam Dogs World. I see. Yeah. So what, what, what breed is this? This is a Shizu. This is a Shizu? Yeah. And these are? A Bichon Freeze. Sorry? Bichon. Bichon? Yeah. Okay, so uh, apparently they are mother and mother son. And, mother and daughter. Mother and daughter. Yes. Oh, okay, because I saw the blue, I was yeah, thinking yeah, that. Okay, yeah. so that's mother and daughter. Yes. Oh, I can see that she's shaking. Is she okay? She wants to be with the mother. Ah. Let, me <laughs> Let me have. Okay, okay. Let me help you she's with that. She's always attached to the mother. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Gospel, let me come to you. Hi. Let's talk about dog grooming, okay? Hi. Now, what's her name? Soraya. Soraya. Do you have any? From Italy, no, she's. Um, from Italy, that's why the name sounds like oh, that. Oh, okay. So she's imported? Yes. I see. So how has it been? When she came in, what was her reaction when she came afresh? She was quite um, reserved because it's a new environment. Right. But with time, she was able to blend with the rest. With the rest of the dogs? Yeah, okay. and every other person. Every other. Okay, I see. And then let's talk about grooming hair. She's got very beautiful hair. Yeah. And I mean, tell us about you. I can see a bag here. Yeah. What's in here? I'm going to open it. So you were holding this a brush, brush yeah. right? This is just for the, yeah. normal stroking brushing, just yes. stroking the hair. And then, what other thing do you use to make her look this beautiful? Okay, I have this pin. Um, sorry, um, I have this comb here. It kind of like takes out knots or tangles in the hair so mm. it's that's why it looks this free and nice like this yeah so when i, when I use this to brush it uh -huh. this like traps out the uh -huh. debris or the hair okay yeah okay. i have grooming spray here oh and she's got ribbons yeah for her hair <laughs> she's got ribbons for her hair i've got this brush sticker brush uh -huh. i've got clips here so when i'm patting the hair in order not to get everything messed up i kind of use this to like pin sides by sides. Okay. So it makes it easier. Right. I get it. Okay, so let me come to Samuel. Yep. Samuel, who is on top of your head? Lubina. Lubina. Is the name. Yeah. What is she doing there? Well, <laughs> it's one of the charming tricks that Lubina can do. Okay. A charming trick indeed because having it sit there and sit pretty. Yeah. Um this the sitting She's doing there, it so well. She was doing it before we even came on air. Yeah. She can stay there for long. I can work. Like with how her. long? Approximately. Well, I mean, just long. I don't know how to describe it. I can walk with it, dance with it, everything. You can dance with it? Yeah, everywhere. Can we please have some music so there's yeah. some more dances yeah. for us to see? Yeah, so at the end of the day, this dog has, I got it when it was just two months. Two months? And now she's 13 years. She's 13 So you can see years. the bond that we have for each Okay. Her aging is getting her a little bit not too strong like before. Right. Yeah, she's now 13 years and she's yeah. but yeah. How do you do it though? Well, it's conditioning. You know, I'm a dog trainer. Okay. And before you get a dog to perform a trick, mm -hmm. a high trick like this, mm -hmm. you have to, you call something shake and um, shaping. Mm -hmm. And shaping is breaking the command in pieces till you get to the main one. You break the command in pieces? Yeah, so first of all, I teach her how to sit pretty down. Mm. Like if I say sit pretty on the floor, mm. now gradually on my head, then I can walk with it. So I just didn't just start up and put on my head like this. Yeah. I started with the process of conditioning the mind to mm -hmm. mean when I say sit pretty, mm -hmm. then he sits, 
and raise the legs. Oh, that's she sitting pretty. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, can you put her down to demonstrate that? For All right. Ah, uh, Luby, sit. Okay, sit pretty. So she okay. sit pretty. Okay, okay, okay. And she's happy with it. Right. Luby, are you okay? What other thing can Clap she do? Clap for me. Clap. Clap for me. Do it well. Clap for me. Okay, okay, very good. Stay there. <laughs> All right, Lubina. So I, the head when she's undressed, I'm not able to. She's not feeling comfortable to do some of the tricks. So, oh, okay. Lubina. So you have to take All it right. off. All right. Okay. Sit. Sit, pretty. Okay. Stay there. Come right. here. Jump through. Okay. Here. Yep. Ah, <laughs> good. Look at you. Down. And stay there. Wow. Lubina, stand. Okay, let's go this way. Sit. High five. Oh, look wow. at you. Give me the other hand too. Levina, the other one. No, give me the other one. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, stand. Bow. Okay. <laughs> stand. All right, good. Sit. Sit pretty. Clap for daddy. Let's go. Do it well. Okay, clap. Do it well. Do it well. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, nice. yes, 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 yes. So that's Lubina. Mm -hmm. And what, what's, what's the name of her daughter? Malampo. Malampo? Yeah. Okay. Malampo, up. Yeah. Yeah. I need, oh, uh, left my leash. Cheap. My leash. Oh, okay. I have this. Okay, give me one. Oh, you need, you need yeah, something. Yeah, okay, okay. 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 So what are so, you about doing for us? Yeah, so she... Okay, let's go. Up. Malampo, up. Up. Let's go. She walks with her two legs. She can walk, wear her school bag. I don't have a school bag. She here. has a school bag. That's her, that's her bag there. Lubina, up. Malampo, up. <laughs> Lubina, you two, up. Let's go together. Up. Okay, so the mother taught her how to walk. But she, up. She started her walking. Okay. And now because of her age, I don't really stress her too much. Right. And she yeah. walks. Let's go. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come. Jump. Up. Okay, let's go. All right, stop. Beautiful. Sit pretty. And stay. Nice. Very good. All right, up. Ha. Ah, good. Keep it up. Good tattoos. Clap for me, clap for me, clap for me, clap for me, do it well. Ah, ah, clap for me. Very good. Okay, stop. Get down. Yes. Lubina, sit pretty. Let's go. Okay, all right. So you two sit pretty. And you stay there. You clap, both clap for me. Sit, sit. Madam, Lubina, sit pretty. Clap for me. Clap. Do it well. Yep, yeah. Okay, look yeah. at you. Hey, you are a star. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. So there's this something small for them to demonstrate. But yeah. how long, how long, ordinarily, with a regular command, how yeah. long does it take to get them, you know, to well, get used to it? Mostly, it depends. Come here. Come. The method one uses determines how fast the dog speaks the command. Mm and the consistency of whatever you are doing. Because I use reinforcement and classical conditioning. Okay. So you perform, operationally, you perform, I reward you. So ah, if I say sit. So you sit, have treats for them. If I say sit, sometimes I use treats. Most, okay. most of the time I use treats. Okay. If I say sit, you don't know how to sit. Mm -hmm. I use a treat and I say sit, sit. So he sit. And I reward my dog for sitting. Okay. okay. How frequent will I do this? Mm -hmm. to determine how long the dog will pick the command. Mm. Right. I get so it. So basically, it's about the method you use. Sometimes people use harsh method. Mm -hmm. You have to punish the dog. Sit. No. So you don't beat them. No, no, no. When you do that, I beat my dog sometimes. The next time you're going to touch the dog as a pet, uh -huh. he will start ruminating, out of fears. Yeah. And yeah. even he will not trust you because if something happens to you and you see, one thing about these dogs, this we call them mini guard dogs. Yeah, okay. Mini guard dogs. Okay. They can protect you, even though they can't catch the thief to kill him. Mm -hmm. But they can raise an alarm. Mm -hmm. If they have the trust in you, mm -hmm. that alarm raising is high. Mm. Shh, shh. Six. 
that alarm racing is high. Yeah. This my, I have four of these in my, my room with okay. me. Okay. One give birth, my wife's give birth. My, be, my wife is lying here with a new baby. She's also lying here with her new puppies. And it's nice. <laughs> and you if enjoy I, it. You don't knock my door. Mm -hmm. The way they'll shake, shh, come here, come here, come here. The way they'll shake the door, mm. you think they are coming to kill you. Because they trust that their boss is here. And right. they have to protect that territory. Right. All because I don't beat them. Okay. We live as family. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Let me come to gospel. Gospel. Um, so you also groom yeah. dogs. How many dogs in total do you groom? Um, so you far, down. five. You have five. Yeah. How is it going? Yeah. It's going quite, quite well. Sometimes it's tedious because... It's tedious. Yeah. You having to keep this here is no joke, but with, I have devotion for this. Okay. I love dogs, so... Sometimes it feels frustrating, but I can't just pass my frustration onto the dog. I kind right. of like, even if on days I'm in a bad mood, I look at the dog, I smile. Sometimes I communicate with them, like, okay. I really am not in a good mood today, so you have to behave. And surprisingly enough, they just kind of flow with me. Right. They behave. Yeah, so it's kind of like communication, as he says. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be doing it on a regular. Okay. So you can keep this nice and beautiful here. So you groom all the five dogs all by yourself? Um, but now I have an assistant. You have an assistant? Yes, please. Okay. So is there any other thing that you do aside dog grooming? So far, no. Not yet. So you have time, time for them? For yes. them. Yes, please. I see. Anyway, so you are going to teach us how you do this knots. Yes. Please. The knots that you have over here for Soso. Yeah. Is that it? Yes, please. Soso or Soraya? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, so you have to put that underneath her head. Yes, yeah, so she sits properly. I see. Whenever I'm taking off the band, I like to use the scissors because if I draw it out, I kind of lose more, more hair. More hair, yeah. That's it. Okay. So, so sit properly. Interesting. And they kind of enjoy it because... They enjoy the brushing? Yes. Okay. When, um, so petting your dog every day, it kind of releases... Um, when you pet your dog every day, it releases hormones, certain hormones we help um, um, reduce human blood pressure. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. even it's good for the um, aged kids. They can bond with any, any type of dog, any yeah, breed of dog. Yeah. So you should get a she's I should get a shizu. Yeah. I should get, get a shizu. Aside this loving and friendly ones, you <laughs> yeah. should get a shizu. Okay. And you won't regret it. Okay. Trust me. Whenever I take my dogs out on work, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, you have a nice dog. Yeah. And the fact that she also has hair uh -huh. makes it even more pretty. Yeah. Her eyes are literally shut right now. Yeah, she she kind of enjoys it. It was red. It was more of like a working dog for the Chinese empire. Okay. It was like that. Oh, okay. And, uh, as a working dog, but sooner they realized that it was one of the favorite companions. Hmm. So they begin to. Adopt more of it. Mm -hmm. So it was meant for when the, when the dogs are sitting at the palace, mm -hmm. and maybe the intruders are coming, they will make noise. Mm. And also maybe strange animals are coming, like snakes and other yeah. things. Are coming. They will make yeah. noise to alert. Yeah. And that was the purpose of coming out with the shitu. And in okay. fact, it went beyond, you know, just got a, a working dog, mm -hmm. and now one of the favorite companion. Mm. As she was talking about being companion. When you have dog like this, yeah, psychologically, <laughs> you are healed. I don't know. Right. It, it gives you kind of feeling. If, it's comforting. Yeah. So Millie say, calming. I said, you look pretty. Mm -hmm. What feels? What do you feel? You feel like ah. Yeah, it's satisfying. Good. Yeah. So if you are working with a dog like this, right. your dog is nice. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it it makes you you, you feel it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that companion, the agent. Sometimes I do perform in some shows with my dogs for birthdays, birthday parties. Mm -hmm. I have dogs that I perform with 
I can bring the oh, dogs. Oh, so, so, so the, you have dogs that go for shows, yeah, to yeah, perform yeah. at shows? At parties, birthday parties, <laughs> okay. and other things. And some, the aged, they have the need to smile. Yeah. And what will cause them to smile is when a dog is performing. Mm. Dog is sitting on your head. Mm -hmm. He's sitting there and the dog holds the, the birthday cat mm -hmm. and come and give to him. Oh. <sighs> So that companionship yeah. built us more and more. Right. And that's why you need to have a dog. Right. Now, uh, speaking, speaking of um, dogs performing at, you know, birthday parties and all that, I know that there are dog shows organized here in Ghana. A lot of people didn't know this, but then there are dog shows, dog competitions, yes. precisely, yeah. that are organized in Ghana. Um, how do you prepare them for these sort of competitions? Because I know that definitely they partake in competitions, don't they? Yes. 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 Right. So how do you prepare them? Well, one of the preparation is what she's, just she's doing right now. Here. Yeah. Because if the dog is going for a confirmation show, a mm -hmm. confirmation show is when the breed standard. Mm -hmm. So if you say you have a shito at home, yeah, and you're also bringing it for the show, mm -hmm. what what is the standard? You, they have a, a specified standard that every shito should have as a quality. Mm. So if you bring your shitu mm -hmm. and she's not having that quality, right. you are disqualified. Okay. So how well you prepare your dog to that show and how quality it is gives you a winner for the day. Okay. So, yes. so you look at the hair, the fair. Yeah. And what else do you look at? You look at the temperament as well. The temperament. Now, if, if, if you are to touch this dog and mm -hmm. it says, don't touch me, you as a judge, how can you check the dog's teeth? Check the dog. This thing. You just say, okay, please. It's okay. So they, they check the teeth. Yeah, they check to make sure that if it's having that standard teeth of a shitu. Oh wow. <laughs> yes, because you can't just look at it like this and go. For all you know, some of the teeth are somewhere in a different direction, which doesn't conform with the qualities of a shitu. Yeah. But do they do they consider age? No, 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 not really. They don't. Yes. So far, you can stand. You can do the stacking. You can do the. You know all those that the, the judge needs you to do then he's qualified to stand do you get a lot of people competing or a lot of dog breeders getting involved in these shows you see these dog shows as we are talking one thing that we should notice is not even you having the dog alone that should bring you there come and and get healed psychologically yes. by seeing the dogs alone right and that will motivate you to also owe a shitu or mm -hmm. owe any other breed mm -hmm. that you think you can you can mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. So the breed, the, the dog show, yes, yeah, some people come with their dogs just to come and stand with their dogs. And one thing too is that when you do that, you are socializing the dogs to other environments. Okay, okay. Your dogs might be it might, not it just be used to your environment. The, no, no, no. Yeah. So once you socialize the dog, mm -hmm. again you socialize your children that you take them along mm -hmm. to the show. Mm -hmm. So we are encouraging everyone who at home. You don't have a dog, yes, you don't have, you don't have, but come. Just come and relax. Just come and relax. Watch the dogs perform. Smile and go, and you are healed. Right. Yes. Yeah. So is there, I mean, I, I want to know, are there any events like that coming up? Yes, yes. please. Okay. Um, I'm glad to see that we are having a Shizu specialty show tomorrow. Okay. At TV. You got everybody's invited. I would love to see you there. <laughs> so the she's a specialty show, the cane corsos and the dobermans. The dobermans. Yes. If you don't have any of those breeds, come, come and let's have fun. Okay. Come and it's uh, Crotus um, uh, Residence Park as uh, Ebru. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I see. The so you are from done. From morning till evening. Sorry. From morning till evening. From morning till evening. evening. Till yes. mother calls you. From nine a.m. <laughs> to like four p.m. Yes. Yeah, so. It's going to be a very uh, interesting Exciting. day for, for everyone, yeah, for dog lovers. Yeah. They also have um, parks for kids. So if okay. you're coming along with your car, uh, your kids, mm -hmm. they have parks, playgrounds, your kids can have fun mm -hmm. and all of that. Okay. All right. And so mm, we have so many messages coming in. Uh, ooh. Okay. So, reading this message, okay, so, oh, the, the, there are actually questions for you. Okay. okay. What are the advantages of giving the pets proper grooming? Advantage, they look this beautiful, they're gorgeous, and it also keeps um, the dog in a good shape. Mm -hmm. If the dog is matted, she feels uncomfortable, she can even um, get infected. Maybe ticks or flea because of dirt. Ticks and fleas, yes. true, true. So if you true. keep your dog yeah. 
clean on a regular mm -hmm. and good to go right imagine we humans and we don't wash or clean our hair of course it will look nasty mm. same applies to the dogs mm. but if you want to look good you can as well make your dog look good okay so let's both look good and everybody can be happy okay so this pet grooming business that you do you own it no i don't so who does a colleague of mine a colleague so, of work so, so you are working for that colleague yes, yes. or it's a partnership um, not yet a partnership, but I just wait there. Because I was going to ask how, you know, money... Perfect. Oh, because okay. you have you've blended a lot of stuff, yeah. and right. the dog is going to benefit from right. it. Right. Yes. My guys here, they eat virtually everything. The food I eat, we enjoy it together. He, she <laughs> likes paw paw. Oh. And I, I, when I'm the day, when th when I'm going home, I yeah. remember them. It's like I've, as I remember my children, mm -hmm. I remember that yes, these guys are there. They might be waiting for me. <laughs> when I when I'm getting home, a distance before I get home, yeah. they start barking. That is wow. in. Yeah. And today I have Popo. Oh mm -hmm. my God. There's celebration in the house. Okay. Yes. And th they sense it when I'm in with something. It's right. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. So after the feeding, it depends on, it must, it must be balanced. Uh -huh. Sometimes the dog vitamins too is very important. You put them on other food. Yes. Sometimes the economic situation can, you know, make you not be able to buy the biscuit. Mm -hmm. As the prices is, is sorry, because the, the, the prices keep on, yes, you know, so, increasing. Like yeah. So yes, when you put them on the biscuit, as we are saying, I yeah. have I bought one bag of biscuit. Mm -hmm. I have my rice and you know red oil here. I have my vitamins here. Mm -hmm. At least it can do something better. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you run away from having. Some people start selling their dogs because they can't keep have up with to the you know expensive. buy that expensive. Yeah. Food. But bear in mind that it's not about the if you cannot sell your human being then you can also sell the dog because mm. you can feed it. Mm. But you can find a way out to make the, everything balanced. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, of course, for anybody at all can come to you, bring their uh, puppy for yes. your dog for grooming? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what, what's, 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 where can we locate you? You can locate us on the Google map, Adam for Pet Petscare, on Google map, or um, Tema. Come to two behind the Temasco building. Okay. All right, you could find yeah, us right there. there. All right. Some more. Any last few words that you want yeah, to share? We, I would first of all give a very special thanks to 
the president of the Kennel Union of Ghana, mm. Mr. Cyrus, and his team mm -hmm. for the great job they are doing. Kennel Union is, a, is, is something that every dog lover, every dog owner mm -hmm. must get involved mm. to be part of that big family. Right. And uh, Shizu Club of Ghana is under the Kennel Union of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And our president is Adam Fopa. Also, especially Asai. Emmanuel Asarius, Adam Fopa, that's what we always call him. So, um, thanks to all of them and thanks to you guys for giving us this opportunity to showcase what actually the show is going to be. We encourage everyone to try as you can. Just come, even if you don't have the dog. Yeah, come just come and relax. And patronize yeah. what dogs can do. Mm -hmm. And you go home with, I mean, a peaceful heart. Mm. The place is a, a Crothers residence park. Um, a brie. A brie. Okay. We have everything that is. And we, if you win the show, mm -hmm. as she's going to win the mm. show. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Have okay. tickets to South Africa. Oh wow. Yes, it's not a joke. I mean, like. For you and your dog. Yes, you can go with your dog as well because hey, your dog has given that that okay. pride. I think. So I it's not just going to be a joke. You're not, <laughs> it's a full business yeah. of love. Because when you have the dog, it's not about what you're going to get, but about what the society will see you to be because mm. you are good in taking care of your dog. Yeah. So we are grateful for the opportunity given unto us this morning. Yeah. And uh, we hope that this will circulate and reach everyone at home. Worldwide. So that tomorrow they can join us to patronize it nicely. And let me use this opportunity to give a very huge shout out to Prophet Patrick Obuswansa of Blessed Empire Kennel. Uh, but before you know we go, I have to read a few messages. And so, um, okay. So these are some of the messages that came on. So we have Amweni Fita Asamankesi. Teachers in Ghana are wicked. They should apologize to Ghanaians regards to Honorable Kennedy of Japan and Protozoa. Okay. And then um, congratulations to our majority MPs in Parliament for making that irresponsible motion filed by the NDC MPs gone waste and fall flat. Next time they will know how to bring such matter on floor of Parliament. Long live MPP. Okay. Uh, moving on. There are so many messages coming on. Okay. Good morning, ladies. The Ashanti Regional Minister did a great job ordering them to take off the cocoa beans from the roadside, but I didn't like his reaction after the man provoked them. Okay, very interesting. And so please keep on bringing in your messages. If you're a dog lover, uh, please make sure that you find your way out of Brie. Tomorrow, the time is 9 a.m., right? Yeah, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. till you Four. drop. Until you drop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Gospel. Yeah, okay. Thank you so Thank much you. Right. for coming through. Yes. Uh, some of you, you mentioned that you train tigers as well. Yes, off I air. Do. I do. Okay. I do. So, some more trains, tigers. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyways, thank you once again for coming through. Thank you. And then we'll so. do our best to come and support. And okay, maybe I'll bring one of my, you know, uh, my Frenchies okay. uh, to yes. yes, to see maybe uh, she's going to overtake Soso. -so. No, she's, <laughs> she's going to overtake so, so. Yeah. Anyway, thank you once more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in with us right here on this particular segment on thank Prime Morning. My name, once again, is Isiedua Akumia. Coming up next, okay, so Jayana is in the building. Okay, so we are going to get up close with Jayana pretty shortly. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Right, thank you.